Start typing your post code or street address edit text. I don't order my pizza with my How do we ensure no one gets left behind on our digital journey? What does digital inclusion mean to you? It's about like being able to bridge like the digital divide in this like digital age. Accessible digital technologies for different ages, different communities, different races. What tech challenges do you think person with disabilities face? Maybe they are visually impaired. They may not be able to see the screen like us. It depends on the disability. So I feel like maybe those, for example, um, blind, they might not be able to navigate websites. Do you know any tools that help with accessibility? It's using a iOS devices, like iPhone. When someone calls in, then there, there, there's a broadcast message saying that someone is calling him and a name. SingPass interface is quite easy to navigate, especially it's more catered towards the seniors. My grandmother, I just teach her like two or three times that she will get like hang of it. The UI is not very hard to navigate. The only one you know is the text to voice tool. What's one digital skill you've taught or learned? Mainly my grandparents. I've had to help to teach them how to access the website and use their SingPass to log in and then how the entire QR code system works. I help them like increase font sizes for different apps, for the text messages, for WhatsApp, the general interface. Um, for my parents, one of the main ones was banking. How to check their balance, how to pay bills, um, how to transfer money, like little, little things. Why do you think digital inclusion is important? Seniors, they should know how to find information to be more accessible for them. We are slowly getting more advanced as a society. If we don't encourage digital inclusion, then there will be a segment of society that will be left out. For everybody to be able to access digital technology, which is a very integral part in our lives today. So would you like to join us at the office to take a simulation test? Sure, that would be good. Sure. Okay, let's go. Okay, so move to next item is control. Visit it, link, menu, sign up, button, end of banner, promotions. <laughs> Locate you, condiments. Hey, it's pizza Does this mean I have ordered already? Domino's home screen, image, welcome. Okay. Penguin level 2, sign up. It's not happening. <laughs> Did deliver. Start typing your post code or street address edit text. I don't order my pizza with my mouth. Sign in. Button. I'd rather go and buy it myself. Why am I going to go buy it with my mouth? Select store. Oopsie. C280,684,900. Call. I should have supposed to press call. <laughs> <laughs> I would feel very helpless um, only because I'm unable to do a simple task. I got pretty impatient even though this was just one website. I don't think I could trust it to make a payment. I don't think I'll feel very confident in completing any important tasks. Websites can actually start with improving just by labeling the images correctly, spell out the instructions. Scale it down to the things that are the most important, just making it a little bit more streamlined. I hope this experiment actually helps websites to um, improve the instructions that they can give and making digital inclusive for all. I don't think I considered how such simple tasks can be very difficult for people with uh, disabilities and something that we should all be mindful of when we think about the people in our society.